So Roblox Bed Wars has just updated player level improvements, diamond lucky crate, new keybinds, and a lot more. So this is a random number generator. Can we get 2,500 A likes on this video? Go down below and smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe, it does help out a ton. Let's go ahead and check out this massive update. First up, the devs have increased the player level from level 30 all the way up to level 50. We just got 20 levels in one update. Level 40 color is cyan and level 50 is red. Alongside, there are some new items. Level 25 is plus one daily mission. So I find this kind of crazy. Bed Wars always had three weekly missions, each one giving you 8,000 XP. Now we only have two. Now that there's a plus one daily mission, that only gives you 2,000 XP. We pretty much got scammed. All right, so it's been a few hours later. The devs have fixed the third weekly mission. All three should now show again. Level 30 is the all new Diamond Lucky Crates awarded every five player levels. Every single day on Bad Wars, you can only earn 10,000 player XP. This will take months to get player level 50. I have just spoken to a Bad Wars developer for the brand new Diamond Crates. They contain the exact same items from the Lucky Crates. It's just that the rare items have an increased chance, making them easy to get. It's a few hours later and the devs have made one change. If you reach player level 30, you also receive a Diamond Crate. Here's a quick look at the odds. I guess let's go open it up. The crate has this nice blue color similar to Victoria's Diamond Kit skins. I'll go ahead and pick this one and I got a lame XP boost. Thanks Bedwars, I totally needed that. I'm in game with Bedwars anti-cheat moderator J Squire. Player level 40 is a mythic dagger lobby gadget. Nothing really special about it. It does have this nice effect. And lastly at player level 50 it's the hero title. The title is kind of basic nothing too special about it every time you gain one player level you receive a free lucky crate there are two new items the first one is the flying backpack lobby gadget you are able to fly and glide in the lobby this is a three star item which is a 20 percent chance last up we have the war fist with some super cool effects this is a four star item with a 6.5 percent chance of unlocking Huge thanks to Jay Squire. I will link his channel in the description. So that's the new milestones update on Bed Wars. It will take a long time to get player level 50. There's a new change to custom matches. By typing slash restart, it teleports all of the players to the exact same match. I do have one quick question. If I make any changes in the host panel, will those still save? Here we go. Unfortunately, the answer is no. If you're playing the Bed Wars match and you get eliminated, there also is an option for restart. In the Bed Wars Holiday Event Shop 2023, the event ends in three more days. Since there is a new update, we have new weekly missions. Instead of having a whole week to complete these, you only have a few days. If I were you, get all of these done as quick as you can. These are the free kits of the week. Archer, Beekeeper Beatrix, Infernal Shielder, and at player level 20, it's the Eldritch Kit. I'm giving away two free kits on Roblox Bed Wars. Here is how to enter. You must like this video. You have to subscribe. Turn that bell and set it to all. Watch the entire video to the end. Then comment your Roblox username in the kit that you want. Winner chosen next week on Wednesday. Good luck. It seems that players are very mad at Bed Wars. This update changed all of the keybinds in the game. I guess for the last few years, we've gotten so used to the current keybinds. Now with these new ones, we have to start all over again. Let's say you're playing as the Umbra Kit. After throwing a hat on a player, I have two different abilities. For the last few months, Bed Wars had a main issue. Let's say you're playing the Lucky Blocks game mode, you receive an item that has a ability. If you're unlucky, they might be the exact same keybind. Only one ability would work, for the other one you had to click on it. Let's talk about the new keybinds. Keybinds R, Q, and V are for kid abilities. R is the main ability, Q is the second ability, V is the third ability. Those three keybinds are only used for kits. Next up, we have items. We have keybind Z and X. Z is the main ability for an item, and X is the second one. 
Lastly, we have misc abilities. This is mainly from the Lucky Blocks game mode. B is the main misc ability, and Y is the second misc ability. Recalling is still the C keybind. When it comes to item dropping, there's something different. Back then, you could always press backspace and Q. It is now the keybind H. This does seem really awkward at first. If you think about it, it does make sense. You don't always drop items on Bed Wars. Keybinds Q and Backspace are really close to AWSD. Using H is definitely a lot smarter. Plus, you can still drag stuff out of your inventory. Before I move on, there are some new improvements for controller players. Instead of having to toggle into your abilities, there is now a separate option in the bottom corner of your screen. When I press left trigger, they show up and I'm able to use them. For all of your kid abilities, Pressing left trigger and I can do my ability. One sad thing is I can't jump while doing it. Controller still has a few issues, at least it improved. Right now in the Bed Wars Discord server, players are protesting. Everyone's saying that a better solution is to let us have our own keybinds. Let's say in the settings tab, you're able to modify your keybinds, picking what you want to use. Next up for the game mode changes, the devs have removed the new bridge battle game mode, replacing it with block hunt. I am so happy that they still kept win tree only one. I hope the devs never remove that game mode. Now time for the balancing changes. This will be controversial. When playing as Infernal Shielder, when taking out your shield, there's a new visual effect. Any teammates in this circle take reduced damage. With the spear around me, that reflects projectiles back. I love the new effect so much. It almost looks like hacks. With your leap ability, you have to fill up this bar to get the ability. From now on, just by holding out your shield, you receive power to fill up the ability. I love the new changes so much. After getting 3 kills as Trinity, then picking the Light Angel, once I damage a player, I heal up my teammates nearby me. The devs have increased the radius, let's go find out how many blocks it is. After some testing, it's about 20 block radius. The devs have nerfed the Talia kits. The devs have nerfed the Diamond, Emerald, and Void chickens. As seen on screen, their damage has been reduced. Due to the error, it does show more damage. Time for something really controversial. The devs released a holiday bundle 2023. This bundle contains so much content, especially the limited time kit called Sigrid. Players spent $20 for this stupid kit, and the dev just gave it a massive nerf. A lot of players are super mad about the nerf. When you're on the elk, you do have an energy bar. Energy now depletes a lot faster. You barely even get 10 seconds anymore. Next up, the speed and jump high have been reduced. Nothing too crazy. I don't think it's that bad. The antlers always do 18 damage. They now only do 8. This will barely do any damage to players with armor. Next up, the charge hit range has been nerfed. You have to be really close to the player to do damage to them. This makes it a lot more difficult to hit a player. For the uppercut attack ability, you would freeze a player for 3 seconds. It is now only 1.5 seconds. The range was always 10 blocks. It is now only 5 blocks. The uppercut did 24 damage. It is now only 15. At least the knockback did not get nerfed. A few updates back, the devs added something called defenders in order to defend your bed. Unfortunately, barely anyone uses them, so the devs buff them. Still no one used them. Once again, the devs have buffed defenders. First up at all stages, the health is increased. For all the defender attacks, the range has been increased. And the same for their cooldowns, they attack a lot quicker. More health, better range, and faster cooldown. I should probably start using these. Now time for the other changes. First up in the missions tab, we have three new types of missions. I have no idea what they are called, just know that there's three new ones. If you played Bed Wars on mobile, especially as the Sigrid kit, while being on the mount you can still use your sword and blocks, the devs have fixed that issue. This last change is very critical. After getting a lightened era, you are able to get double enchantments. This was super overpowered. That is why the devs have removed them. You can no longer get double enchantments. There is one compensation. With the enlightened age, instead of 3 minute enchantments, they now last for a whole 6 minutes. Definitely a good compromise.
So that's the new update on Roblox Bed Wars. A lot of players hate the update for the keybinds and the Sigrid nerf. Comment down below what do you think? In my latest video, I had a giveaway for two Bed Wars kits. Let's go pick the winners. The first winner is Jaden for the Evelyn kit. And the last winner is Dragon for the Hannah kit. Anyways, that is today's video. Drop a like and subscribe. You start coming on buying Robux, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Peace.